basically we use different principles from study. Uh, so we take the book of Allah, we take the hadith as well, we take uh, the consensus of the Sahaba, but the, other, the four madahib, they have other principles to make halal and haram, and we reject them. It's basically that. We, we still Sunni, like uh, nothing weird going on, it's just a specific, like, technical part of our understanding. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very specific. <laughs> okay, so in according to your sect of Islam, do you follow the teachings of Muhammad? Yeah, but it's actually what we follow. Like, we do, what we do not follow is analogy or like the practices of the people or stuff like that. We and, stick to that. Okay, and what the other people follow? What? What the other people follow sometimes is the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. Sometimes it's not. Like sometimes they make analogy to derive the rulings that have not been uh, explained specifically. Or the, for instance, Malikis, they have a principle which is like the principle of the actions of the people of Medina. Which basically is that they argue that because the Prophet was in Medina for like 10 years and he died there, the practice of the people of Medina must come from the Prophet. Therefore, they use it as a legal proof to establish what's uh, prescribed why you or haram or haram or whatever. So, and the, we reject this. Yeah. In the Quran, Muhammad says that... Sorry, Muhammad in the Quran doesn't say anything. It's a lie in the Quran, it says. Okay, so Muhammad doesn't say nothing. Okay, so what... I mean, <laughs> so, so, okay, is, uh, so is it mean? not... Maybe Hadith, I don't know. I'll just off my head, I have to okay. double check. But does it not say that, um, does Muhammad not say that if he's a false prophet, then he will die a horrible, painful death? Uh, can you bring the reference for that? Um, okay. Which, by the way, just quick question is it related to principles of faith? Because if it's not related to uh, principles of Islamic law, I'm not interested in going through the same ayah that have already explained and so on. So. Well, it's about talking about the truth, but maybe you should be interested in the truth. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about this. But what if you're obviously wrong? Well, wouldn't you want to know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can have a discussion about that? No, well, it depends. Okay. It depends what you bring, because. I believe I don't have that much time in this life, so I want to utilize it properly. And uh, yeah, you will need to prove to me that having a conversation of this type is uh, useful to me. So I think it's. Um the Quran says, and if he, Muhammad, saw, had forged a false saying, us, Allah, we should surely, we surely should have seized him by his right hand or with power and might, and it certainly should have cut off uh, his life artery. Um, Orator, Quran 69, 44, 46. Um, narrated Aisha, the prophet in his alignment in which he died, used to say, oh, Aisha, I still feel pain caused by the food I ate at Kabi, uh, Kahaiba. At this time, I feel as if my orator is being cut off from that poison. So it, it was said if Muhammad was a false prophet. Can you bring the Arabic for both? Huh? Can you bring the Arabic for both of them? Can I bring what? Arabic language. Can you bring the Arabic language? You have to just check it out yourself later. Yeah. But it does. No, Muhammad no, sorry, proved sorry, himself sorry, sorry. to be a false prophet. Uh, I have some rules. You should be reading the reference in English, in Arabic. Oh, well, you, you can go and check it later. It. So that's just I, the cop out. Okay, so later we'll have the conversation. Well, no, you can go <laughs> out and check it. Mohammed yeah, so proved himself we'll to be a false prophet. Thank you. Thank Look, you. this is the Thank evidence. You. Don't you Thank want you. to know the truth? Yeah. In the Sahai Greek era. Can you, can you bring the Arabic? So, all right, well, of, I. Of the Hadith. Uh, of the Hadith? Yeah. Uh, so I have some rules. To speak out these things, you have to bring the, the original source. But I won't know English, what it says. If you bring yeah, it in yeah, Arabic, I won't know fine. what it says. That's so totally fine, but I don't want to do that. Okay. Then, so then I won't know what it says. So I can get it up for you, but I won't know what it Look, says. You can just write anything there and start making I'm it. I'm not writing it. This is not my writing. I didn't write this. Okay. I'm only telling you what it says. And if he, so Mohammed Saw, had forged a false saying, we surely should have seized him by his right hand or with power and might. Nice day. And then 
certainly should have cut off his life artery, his iota. And narrated Aisha, the prophet in his alignment in which he died, used to say, Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Kahaba. At this time, I feel as if my iota is being cut off from that poison. All right, so let me see if I can get you the... All right. You bring the original, uh, you bring the reference in Arabic, in English, and you bring like a tafsir. I just showed it to you in English. I'm going to look for the an explanation. Arabic. It's a hype. These are my conditions to talk about uh, these things. Uh, did you did you hear? Them? Okay, yeah. Did you hear it? All yeah. right. So I'm going to look for it. That's what you want, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Reference in English, in Arabic, and if it's an ayah, a tafsir that right. you have read, and if it's a hadith, an explanation of the hadith that you have read. If not, I will not All engage. Right. So you want to okay. get really technical because you know I'm exposing yeah. your false prophet. You don't like it. Because uh, if we don't get technical, anyone can come and claim anything. Well, this, I, this, and is, I don't your, want to waste this time. is your. This is yours. I don't uh, want to waste time. The, the one thing, because I'm, I'm interested in this technical stuff. You can search for it. I come here often. You can come with uh, like to me another day. Yeah, once you do that. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So that's yeah, it sounds really Arabic with the English. Do you wanna read it? Yeah. Arabic Arabic Arabic. This is the I, I this, this I have memorized it. I'm thinking that the hadith. Okay. This I have memorized it already. So you don't you you have memorized this? Yeah, yeah, so, that's every, like, so Muslim. basically, so it says then we would have cut off if Muhammad was yeah, a false yeah, prophet, yeah, yeah. he would have been cut the off hadith, by Isa Uta. Come with that, all right, with Arabic all Arabic right, and an explanation that you have read on it. You don't want to hear the truth, you're not interested in okay. the truth. Uh, Muhammad, Jesus, God, exposed Muhammad as a false prophet. And if you don't believe in the real Jesus Christ, you're going to burn in hell. Is that what you want? I want you to be saved. Have a nice day. I want you to be saved. Bring, bring Jesus my, is my God. Idea. He claimed okay. to be God. Sorry, sorry. And I you have to be born again of His Spirit. You have to put your faith and trust in Jesus for forgiveness of sin if you want to be saved. Okay. It's not about religion. You can follow all the rules, but okay, do you okay, still okay. tell lies? Do you still have pride? Do you still look at women with lust? Do you still do all these things? Because you're, you, me, everyone, we're all sinners. Every single one of us has sinned against God. We've all offended Him. We've all broken His laws. He's not just going to let you into heaven in your sin. And this is the reason why Jesus came. Jesus came to set the captive free. He came to deliver us from our sin. I am showing you that Muhammad himself exposed himself as a false prophet and you don't want to hear the truth. Jesus is God and you have to believe in Jesus as God and believe that he died for your sin was buried and raised on the third day. If you believe that in your heart, confess that with your mouth, Jesus will save you. He's the only one that can deliver you and take you back from sin. Muhammad was a liar and a false prophet and the Quran is supposed to be God bless. Thank <laughs> you.